And before I knew it, it was November. This should be the Harbinger in Timeline B Mimi Challenge. The rules will be on screen now. Pause if you need to look at them and I will be switching back in a moment because, uh, man, I'm not doing well. <laughs> if you've watched every Harbinger Challenge video up to this point. I'm not doing so well, but this one, we'll see if this one's a little easier. Uh, I looked at it, I, I wrote every single challenge, like, before I started, I think, like, the Ico one, so, uh... Mm, the balance might not be there, but this one, I'm pretty sure I remember being easier, quote-unquote. I say quote-unquote because, like I said, I didn't get to test any of these challenges out, and since I'm not mean, we have to restart again. Um, but technically this isn't so bad because half of it is just playing Mimi by equipping the scalpel. Uh, the other half of it is, uh, yeah, completely things that you probably shouldn't do, like keeping reason lower than stamina at all times. Uh, other than, and then the, the specific spider god rules, depending if you are a spider god or not, but... <sighs> we're gonna go through with it. So, we're ill-fated Yogathag. Um, we don't have to play Mimi perks, I think. I'm pretty- I thought I want- well, I don't have the, all of my notes up right now, but... Uh, I thought I had uh, a challenge that had to be character perks only. If not, then I've already done it. Um... <sighs> but, we'll see. We'll see- we'll see if I decide to change anything, because some- some character perks are- are- are, uh better for the character than doing all perks, depending. I mean, there's always situations that go otherwise, but eh. So since we're not on Spider God, uh, we can pray, but we cannot brace. And I'm gonna figure out if that's the biggest rule mistake I've made. Second count, uh, second mystery, light check. I might as well check it just in case I make it to the lighthouse. That way I'm at least not uh, hurting myself all the way. Technically, I only need two strength, one charisma, but since I need to make sure my uh, charisma is at least, um, stays above eight pretty much at the end of the run, uh, then, mm, because there's a bunch of ways you can, your knowledge can decrease, cur including curses, so, mm, could be really, uh, really dangerous for the challenge anyway. Uh, but I'm going to take a look at the mysteries before I uh, level up. That way I can kind of plan for what I want to do. Coma, Botanist, Cape, Sailor's, Ramen. Uh, ah, yeah, that's going to be a guaranteed. Sailor's, maybe, if I throw the empty bottle away, but I wouldn't really have anything else to throw because I can't unequip the scalpel. Ramen and Botanist. Mm. Let's listen for the rumor, or at least try a little bit for the rumor before we head on. Um, yeah, and then we're going to go probably try to take some encounter perks. First aid, maybe. Um, that will help with the challenge, Fast Learner. Uh, probably one of these two, I think I'm gonna take First Aid. Again, I have to remember that Reason has to stay below Stamina at all times, so that includes events, which means I need to remember, uh... I need to remember what I'm doing in events, to some extent. I don't remember every single event still, but, eh. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna go into Cape here. I didn't get the, my funds, that's a mistake, but... <sighs> Il also, I'm ill-fated. Gotta remember that. Ill-fated, ill-fated, ill-fated. Uh, which means, yeah, I can't... Well, we're gonna fail this anyway, so that's gonna be stamina. And I could just magically lose the challenge now. Or maybe I'll add a leeway option. Uh, but I will um, take the fondest memory. That way my reason stays lower than my stamina. And we'll keep going on. Technically, I should rest. Uh, but... I'm gonna take these funds, that way I can get a pack of, uh, nope, that's right, I didn't change my city history either. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna enter dog shop regardless. Uh, yeah, we'll take the foreign cigarettes, but we need to make sure our stamina stays under the reason. And we'll see where we're at. I think I'm, didn't I take Akamanto? Uh, in any case, uh, yeah, so I need to listen to gossip, otherwise I'm just gonna end up failing the challenge. Um... Which means, if you are taking this challenge, you absolutely cannot burn the school down, because that's the biggest chance of, uh... Losing to the challenge when your stamina falls under your reason. Uh, I'm gonna rest once, just to be sure. And if this is the, uh, and if this is, um... You know what, I might change the rules, but we'll see. We'll see if I do it in edit. Otherwise, um... Yeah, so I cannot brace either. I can run, but I can't brace. Uh... Which could be a problem for this challenge. Yeah, I think I have to run here. Otherwise, I'm taking too much stamina damage and uh, I end up failing the challenge. 
in that regard, I guess I'm going to do... I, uh, for sure, maybe I'll do two back-to-back -back episodes, because I feel like I might not uh, finish this challenge, considering where I'm at. Um, so this is extra doom. There's not really much else I can do. I should smoke these now, but that means I need to be in within the nicotine rush, but I think I need to, considering I'm about to run to Akamanto. Yep, and here we go. Um... How bad, I wonder how bad this fight becomes when you do this. Uh, if I want to do big, big RNG, big brain, uh, small brain stat strats, then I would go for four hits here. Otherwise, this is, yeah, but minus three all is not great either. And I cannot brace, so I, that's why I'm considering whether I should just go all out or... Because ten damage, and then, uh, hmm. Uh, drink this bottle of water for sure. Is there anything else I can do? No, not really. Uh, oof. Like I said, I'd have to roll on RNG, but I don't want to be that one. I'm going to play it safe for now. So there's that. Something doesn't feel right. I have to brace, but I can't brace. Or maybe I can... Well, you know what? I'm going to add that rule. I can't brace uh, with no special attacks. Because uh, that's going to be... I'm just going to make it a bit more lenient. And then I'll see... I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll go for here. So something doesn't feel right. He means he's about to uh, absolutely blast my stamina and reason to oblivion. So if you brace against a special attack, then I'm not going to say... And you'll know because... Uh, yeah, this is specifically Akamanto special. Um, but other than that, I can't brace. So we will get out of this encounter, but we will be taking a bunch of damage. So we're going to see how viable this challenge is. Granted, you want to argue the RNG, but if I had eels, it would be easier. So this is probably probably as average as I'm going to get. Uh, I have to heal stamina, otherwise I'm just going to end up uh, dying. We're going to take Outdoorsman because we're probably going to take Botanist next to try to force the event. If we get it, if we don't, then, well, uh, again, we have to heal stamina. And Botanist, here we go. Yeah, I think I need to modify the rules. Again, I did not test uh, any of these Harbinger challenges. Usually I do, but then, uh, but uh, this time I didn't. So that's why the balance of these challenges may look near impossible to most people. Uh, but I'm the one suffering, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to get experience here because we probably might want to level up more. And we're going to keep going. We're going to be smoking cigarettes, and if I need to, I'll tree a bunch of times. Kindly refuse, because that's our free out, because we're ill-fated. And we'll keep going. So, yeah, not, not, having a high knowledge isn't going to really help us, but we just need to make sure we stay above 8. So, and this isn't going to help, so we, we definitely have to run here. <laughs> so it's going to be a high... Uh, yeah, you know what? I should have went to the police station to at least lower my encounters. Uh, we're going to lose reason here just to make sure we still fulfill the challenge. And we're also going to lose more reason here because we need to. And then if we need to, we'll trade stamina for reason if we get Yasugi-san. So, as promised, stamina for reason. And hopefully we don't get pounded on stamina here. Otherwise, I fail the challenge and I would be really, really sad. That's... For <laughs> I actually want that. But I come within death's range here. So, let's see what happens. Minus two all, I can two-shot her, so let's two-shot her. Especially since we're still under the effect of Nicotine Rush, I might as well take the chance. Well, if I really wanted to take the chance, I would have uh, done four normal attacks to try to one-shot her, but I'm not going to take that risk. So, while we're leading shiro we're going to drink a bottle of water to make use of our time. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to take this out. This will be 25 experience, so we should be able to level up, I think. Because, uh... Leading him out and letting him die counts as uh, defeating him and not escaping. That's just what happens. So, another level up and we get Feeded Fumes. So that's not great. I should have rested beforehand, but I couldn't have known. Um, we'll take Fast Learner. We'll heal Stamina to fulfill the challenge. And we'll keep going. So, we're going to leave Police Station. I think what we're going to do is trade off... Uh, yeah, that, and then we're going to leave Monument just in case I use it. I'm not really going to visit Illegal Den, so mm, we'll heal Stamina here just to make sure we stay above the challenge threshold. Coma Sailor's Ramen. Uh, we're going to take Coma. 53% Doom, so we're not doing well at all, but not really much else I can do. And with Yogothag uh, hurting our Doom, that's mm, not helping much, but we got to work with what we got. Um, I don't think I really have time to search other locations, 
So I'm just going to ignore Fish God because I think that's the best we can do. Of course, I could always visit a low threat level lo location and hope that it turns out. But at that point, it's RNG. So, you know. We're still under the effect of Nicotine Rush. Uh, if I really want to be... Okay, so let's go for the one shot here. I should have actually attack boosted one, but we killed him in one shot anyway. So it's fine. Um, now we're in the Nicotine Withdrawal and I probably want to run... Um, you know what? We're going to get into the hardware store and hope for a pocket knife. Nope. Um, I don't want to restock, so we're gonna at least. Uh, yeah, now we're not just gonna. We're just gonna leave. Um, since I didn't have enough money, but nothing else I can do. I failed that automatically, and we failed the challenge, so we're just gonna queue out. <laughs> um, you know what? We're gonna. Mm, uh, actually, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna we're gonna do one more. Um, we're gonna leave the rules the same, but if not, I will change the rules because uh, yeah, this is pretty pretty rough. Um, unless someone wants to do the vanilla versions, right now it's the vanilla version of these challenges. But so Goizo ill fated again, and then uh, pretty much the same rule set, and I'm Miku, so I have to queue out. And let's go be Mimi for again. Um, yeah. That's really rough because, you, I mean, it's not like you can control it, and I know that it depends on the player knowledge to know when to lower reason before stamina. Um, but that's why it's it's something I do. I mean, obviously, Pantstaz isn't forcing any, any of this on us. I think this is more than anyone would ask for. So yeah, just it's what I choose to do, and I'm gonna die by it. So Pantstaz can't stop me from doing challenges, but. Uh, it's certainly gonna hurt just as bad. Goizo, so my Harbinger rests are pretty inefficient, but me eh, immediately equip the Scalpel, and let's remember to switch. Eh, no, actually, let's wait. I'm just gonna look at this really quickly. So both second stuff, uh, Light Check, Knowledge, Charisma. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take a look at our Mysteries first, get another empty bottle, so that's that. Uh, I think I just got it there. Oh, well, I got it there. So let's check before we change anything. Uh, if I don't have any bosses that I'm forced to fight, then I'm just going to take... Okay, so we have arms, so definitely that. Sailors, I don't want to fight that either. And coma. So, sailors and coma, really only... Ar I mean, uh, armor, arms and sailors, but really only arms. But I'm still going to switch this around. I think I'm going to be start using the police station a lot more for these Harbinger challenges. Yes, it might seem exploity because I'm doing that, but... Mm, eh... Can you really blame me? Unless, I mean, if, if someone has if someone has it, if someone wants to do it, then uh, feel good for doing it uh, with the rules that I have set here. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we're... You know what? I could leave... Oh, oh no, I don't have eels. I want to do arms before the damage boost. So let's... Brrr, let's level up now at least. Fast learner. Yeah, none of these are great. And I could have saved this for a uh, heal, but... Uh, botanist ramen. Let's do botanist now to get more experience to prepare for our arms. Um, because you kill, like I said, you kill, you kill quote unquote Shirosan at the end. And we're just gonna rush through. Um, not really gonna wait. And we're ill fated again, so, uh, we're gonna rest here to make sure our stamina doesn't fall under reason and investigate and keep investigating. <laughs> so that's the unfortunate part. If that happens, then I have to kind of force my, uh, I kind of have to force rest here because if I lose more stamina, I automatically fail the challenge. Um, no, we're not going to do this so that we can purposely lose reason. That way we still fulfill the challenge. And we're not on Spider God, so we can't brace again. Unless it's a, unless I know it's a special attack. You can brace, So the rule is you can brace special attacks, but you cannot um, brace any normal actions by the enemy, basically. Uh, and then, of course, being on Ill Fated when you don't have a choice. Um, I, you know, someone can check that out if we got a lot more uh, events that. Uh, a lot more events that force you, unless you have the perk requirement. But even then, it doesn't really matter because you're not really uh, picking up perks. So, so just a little bit of strategizing while I'm going through this. Um, because you're not. You can't pick up all perks like to fulfill requirements that could be an interesting challenge i might actually write that down but like i said so needing and this one is an item but still you get what i mean needing all of this and being forced into ill-fated granted that event didn't hurt me but for events like the last one um where you're forced into a check but you can't pass with ill-fated then uh 
yeah, it, it, it sucks. <laughs> because you can't pick up every perk, obviously. On average, I assume people reach, like, le maybe level 4, maybe level 6, but mostly level uh, 5, and now we're pretty much... Uh, we failed the challenge here, but where's it? let's just see where we go. So I would have made it out, but that was just bad RNG. Uh, yeah, we're just going to queue out. You know what? I am going to change the rules, but I just wanted to try the rule set I had right now. Um, because my stamina fell under my reason, then mm, because my reason has to be lower than the stamina at all times. Yeah, that's kind of a flat end, but I, it's not like I disobeyed a rule. That was literally just me failing a rule. So we'll see if we change that. A, a lot of people will probably say that th that makes this challenge almost impossible, but I, I just wanted to do it just to see. So if you watched up to this point, this pro probably about 15 minutes, then I thank you. If you have anything to say, yep, you know what to do. Uh, Jared and MML, I'm out.